One year after firefighters worked through the night to save Logan Lake from wildfire, a success credited in part to rooftop sprinkler systems, Kamloops Fire Rescue says the devices would not work well in the tournament capital. It's really not much to do with the, you know, the manpower or anything. It's just really the system that the city of Kamloops has, right? It's the pumps, the amount of homes that we have, um, and then just looking at the load that that would create or the demand, I should say, on our system. And none of that's really changed. That would be infrastructure changes that you would have to make, and that's... Yeah, huge dollars is probably not going to happen. But the owner of a Kelowna-based company that manufactures rooftop sprinklers, including many of those used in Logan Lake, say they would work great in Kamloops. But they're only going to turn them on if they see embers coming down. They're not going to turn them on if they don't. And so they're always looking at how much water are we using, and they want to make sure they keep water in the fire hydrants if they need it. But they're not going to waste it either. They're just going to turn it on as they need it. Late last August in Logan Lake with the 63,000 hectare Tremont Creek wildfire bearing down on the community, crews worked over the course of a 24-hour period to build above-ground systems of large bladders to supply water to the rooftop sprinklers. Flames came within 30 feet of some Logan Lake homes, but no structures were lost. According to KFR, the best thing for Kamloops homeowners to do to ensure they're safe is have a fire smart assessment done, a service KFR provides for free. If they start off with their home, uh, with the type of shingles and the type of roofing, uh, sorry, the siding material, getting rid of all combustible plants within a meter and a half of their home, uh, and then working out from their home, that's probably the greatest thing that they can do um, that, that, that ensures uh, some level, reduction of risk if a wildfire were to occur. Sydney Chisholm, Castanet News, Kamloops.